Hello everyone. So for the repair today, we have this iPad is a A1566. The iPad has no power and the customer wants the data. So when I plug it to the charge, it's connected to the number one, this one here. So let's wait till let's go to the number one. Yeah, it takes about one amp. That's it, just one amp. And they feel like the, the iPad is getting warm, this area. So let's take it apart. And when I connect it to the computer, yeah, the computer is not detecting the iPad. It is completely dead. Let's plug it to the charge. Yeah, this area here is getting hot or is getting warm, basically, it's not hot yet. Yep. I think it's something uh, there is a short in it. So let's see that one amp if it's going to the battery or it's going to the board. Already uh, take the screw that's holding the battery. I'm going to lift the board just a little bit to disconnect the battery. And you can see it's taking one amp. Wait till this one start flashing. Yeah, you see, one amp. It's not moving. So that one amp is not going to the battery. It's going to somewhere else. Basically, there is a short over there. Yeah, we can find the short quick, but let's try the... And we are going to increase the temperature, like to make everything dim. Yeah, you can see now everything is dark. I'm looking how we can, yeah, like this is good. You see that? So let's uh, record it. So there is two spots that I see. One spot is right here. One spot it's right here. Watch carefully. I'm gonna plug it. You see that two spots? One spot here, one spot right here. So there is two spots.
that I see. One spot is right here. One spot it's right here. Watch carefully. I'm gonna plug it. You see that two spots? So basically one spot is a short, the other spot is just uh, taking the load. Could be a IC, there is a shorted capacitor or shorted diode and when we give the, the load, the real shirt it show and it show the ICs too. So let's uh and we are gonna go to the microscope. Alright, so we had the first part is here something is getting hot here and here so one of them that's the real shirt so let's try this what about we try the ozone smoke to find out the shirt Okay, we get the solder iron about 400. Let's look at the board in the microscope and you're going to see that there is a little fog. Yeah, I still need a little fog around this because I want to cover these capacitors. So let's do it. and we have some fog here so let's try this area see what's what's going hot over there okay did you see that the diode now let's try it again now I'm gonna cover just the diode Here, watch carefully because it's going to go quick you see this diode watch it you see that it's quick the rosin start getting melt on it well we are in the diode mode let's see in that diode how much we have Yep.
Yeah, and the diode we have zero. We have a search. Is that search the ground? Yes. Yeah, the diode has both sides short to the ground. Hmm. All right. I think this capacitor is was getting hot. This one here. Let's put some rosin on it. Yeah, it doesn't want to get the rose in on. I'm going to plug the iPad to the charge and we watch over there. You see that capacitor is start getting melted. This one here. Yep. I think that's the one is causing the charge. The diode is just taking the load. So it's not the, the component that you see that's getting hot, it's always the one is causing the charge. Yeah, look at the multimeter. This capacitor is very low. Okay, let's uh, remove that capacitor. The capacitor itself, it looks good. There is no damage on it. Okay. And usually the bad capacitor is quick, like it's removed quick. Here. Alright, let's test the capacitor, see if we did right. Or we check the wrong guy. Yeah, the capacitor tested low. Let's go to the diode. Yep, the diode is taking uh, one volt. The shirt is gone. It's okay to leave the rosine in the in the board because it doesn't cause no shirt. No, it doesn't oxidize with the copper or with the solder. Plus the rosin when it's dry, it's dry as a rock. So it's not uh, gonna make the corrosion in any other component around it. So let's put the screen and hopefully we get the data for this customer. Let's put the battery screw. Plug it to the charge and we watch the amp meter. You can see now the amp meter number one is taking two amps. We have the Apple logo. We got it. Yeah, I'm waiting for the passcode. Okay, good. It works. Just screen work. Let's get it. All right, yeah. Thank you for uh, watching and see you again.